Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm a second year biomedical engineering student at UBC and today I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about my experience in the program and why I went into it and because I think a lot of people their biggest concern with going into a program is like why did you pick it and then if your kind of ideas and stuff align with people who chose it then that can help you pick. Did that make sense? I feel like I said a lot of words but didn't say anything. Anyway, so basically I knew I wanted to go into something very challenging. <laughs> I just know like it's just my personality. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but I know I'll always think like maybe I should have done that. Maybe that would have given me more opportunities. It would have been better, blah, blah, blah. So I was kind of debating between, you know, psychology, biology, and and maybe engineering. Engineering didn't really come into my mind until later in high school because I honestly did not know what it was. And I also didn't know that BMAG was even a program. So I kind of love, like, I really wanted to help people. That's kind of a similar topic in all three of those uh, programs and fields. I wanted to have a lot of career options, like have a very interdisciplinary skill set and with the times, so like be really familiar with computers coding, AI, that kind of stuff. And so engineering kind of really fit that mold and it gave me the most opportunities. So I could still go to med school, I could go to law school, I could get an MBA. I can work directly out of an undergrad, which is very important, um, especially for people who maybe can't afford to go to school for a very long time, like you can work directly. There's just like a lot more leeway and it, in my opinion, it's the most challenging undergraduate program so i was just like if i can get in like that's what i want to do i want to challenge myself like feel proud whatever so i applied and i got in and that was really awesome and i'm so glad that i did because i absolutely love this program so yeah one of the main reasons why i chose biomedical engineering is because of the opportunities that it gives you so you really aren't closing a door to really anything um, you can go into science if you want, if you don't like it. It's way easier to go from engineering to science than the other way around. Just because you're taking so many courses in engineering, like you're going kind of to less courses. Um, whereas in science, people I know who did transfer to engineering, they had to take more. So it's just a little bit easier to transition. And yet you have the opportunity to go to basically any like graduate school. The only thing I'm going to say is keep in mind if you are like dead dead set on med school or law school it might not be the program for you just because it is very difficult to get good grades in the sense that like you can't really compete with an art student um, unless you're very very smart and I know a lot of people who are very very smart in my program and are able to get like high 80s 90s and things like that um, so it just depends like look at the med schools that you're interested in do they care more about the MCAT or grades and just kind of like weigh your options. So if the university things that you're applying to don't like look at what program you were in and just straight up look at your grades, you should definitely consider that. So the next reason why I chose biomedical engineering, I kind of touched on is because it's such a growing field. It is, I will say it's a little scary right now and a lot of people hesitate to go into the program because they're like, oh, if, like, um, a mechanical engineering firm who makes like prosthetics, why would they hire a biomedical engineer and why wouldn't they just use a mech engineer? However, I've definitely noticed, especially with COVID, job prospect wise, like on LinkedIn, I look every day and there's always postings and they are kind of realizing now, oh no, I think we would want a biomedical engineer instead of a mech engineer for those specialized things just because it's becoming more popular. Like before it was something people didn't really understand. Sorry, my battery's dying. Yeah, it was something people didn't really understand, so they didn't really want to hire you, but now it's becoming a more known program and it's really growing into its own field. Robots are gonna replace doctors one day. Who are gonna be coding those biomedical engineers? Vaccine development, genetically modified food, genetically modified things, drug delivery, stem cells, that's all biomedical engineering and it's a very interesting field. So the next reason is 
basically you can get a job straight out of undergrad and I think that's really awesome. So there's a lot of positions that are posted and you just need um, relevant experience in that field. So, you know, it could be for a drug delivery company that's doing cool drug delivery for treating cancer and stuff. And they say, yeah, we would hire a scientist if you have, if you know what we're talking about, or we would hire a biomedical engineer or that type of person. And so the nice thing is, is usually if someone's hiring a scientist, they, they need you to have a master's or a PhD. So I've actually seen job postings for Moderna and they said, if you're in, have a bachelor's of arts, we want you to have a PhD. But if you are a bi biomedical engineering graduate, you just need a bachelor's. And that's just because you do so much teamwork in engineering and you take so many courses, you really learn like how to apply your knowledge. I mean, it's applied science. <laughs> that's just a benefit um, is that you are able to get jobs that you definitely could get as a scientist or something else, but it just takes more schooling. With that being said though, engineering is extremely difficult. I myself cannot complete it in four years. So with co-op and everything, like I might graduate in seven years, which two plus four, like if you did a master's and a bachelor's in science, like that's the same amount of time. But the nice thing is, is that one whole year of that is co-op. So it's just different. Like there's things you need to look into, but that is definitely a benefit. So the last reason why I went into the program is because I really love medicine. Like I think I would love going to med school, learning about all that kind of stuff. It really, I'm passionate about that. And it doesn't feel like school to me when I learn like anatomy and that kind of thing. But thinking about actually becoming a doctor or a pharmacist, I think it's just so repetitive. And a lot of the time you're just seeing kind of very average, like the same thing. And of course, some people love that. I just personally think I would get a little bit bored. Um, I personally really want to go into project management for like tissue engineering or drug delivery, which brings me to the reason why I love BMEG because you get to apply topics that you would learn in med school and you get to apply medical topics to engineering, inventing completely new things. Like it's just such a fascinating, like you will never get bored, you know what I mean? Like. Um, it's just such a fascinating program and like you literally can do whatever you want. You know, you can be the first person to um, be able to print organs with stem cells, which is what I want to do. It's just nice to know that the possibilities are endless and you can invent and create things from nothing. It's just so inspiring and fun. So yeah, that's it for this video. Please comment down below any questions you guys have or if you would like me to make another video about this or UBC college in general. I hope to see you guys in my next video and I hope this helped make a decision about BMAG or kind of learn more about the program because I love it so much and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I feel so